Hey guys, welcome to my classroom summer prep setup part two. I forgot what I named the first one. Anyway, here is what I did, the rest of what I did to set, to prep before setting up my classroom, before getting in my classroom. I've been filming this the past like month, so I don't even know what's all in it. I know I just didn't film the intro, so here's the intro. So, and next week be ready for my um, like week before... I don't know what I'm going to name it. It's going to be like a week before setting up. And then the week after that, I'll have my classroom setup video. So be ready for those two videos because those are going to be fun. So, can I do a little cool transition? Let's get into the video. Today is the day I finally conquered my books. I've already kind of organized them, but now I actually want to pull the ones I'm going to use out. What are you doing, cat? And, oh, my hair. Sorry. I got the fan blowing on me because it's hot. But... I'm actually going to pull them out, organize them. I might even make my labels, probably. So, this should be fun. I don't even know if I'll finish today, but we'll we'll try. Okay, so here I have my three um, bins, and then I have that half one from the other day. And I have another one outside, but it's all, like, old books or, like, Christian books or, like, like random books that I don't want in my like not that I don't want in my classroom but I'm just not going to use in my classroom so these are the ones that I'm going to go through and then these on top are the ones I've actually took out of the other one because the other one I made when I figured out I didn't know I was going to teach kindergarten and I never expected to teach kindergarten so these will work for kindergarten so I pulled them out of there so that's why they're on top remember in my haul video I showed you this book it was like well I might have this book already but I went ahead and bought it tub which means like my newer books so I bought them around the same time and had no idea so that'll be fun but I guess I'll keep this one for like a read aloud maybe and that one will be in the kids library I don't know okay we got one bin down here on my pile so far making progress so I have finished here is everything they don't look piled up, but I know where most of it is. And I have more behind me. So I have these um, three books that are, this is a Dolly Parton Code of Many Colors. Ow. It's in English and Spanish. Then I have um, The Snowy Day in Spanish. And then I have Hooray Pinata, which is like a birthday book. Uh, I don't know if it's in Spanish. No, but it's a birthday book about like how they celebrate in Mexico. So, I won't have these two in a category. I don't know what to label it. I could start a bat, um, being about like other cultures, but will I just put other cultures? I don't know. I need y'all opinion down below. So now I'm currently just adding all the books I haven't. Oh, my finger looks weird in that. <laughs> to my book collection. Um, Google Docs. So right now I'm just doing the read alouds and I'm adding them in the box as I go. Something I didn't share is that as I'm putting them back in the boxes, I am labeling, so like the top book, this will say Pete the Cat, Skippy John Jones, and Splat the Cat. And I'll be on a pile here, the top book will just say that. So when I pull them out, I know exactly what bin they go in. I think that'll make it easy. Now and it is, I'm so excited, it is my um, Mo Williams book, plus The Pigeon Needs a Bath, and We Don't Need Our Classmates. I ordered these from First Book. First, so First Book is a site um, where if you're like a Title I school or low income school, you can sign up and get books for really cheap. I got all those books for $10, so I ordered another set, well I ordered it all together, but it broke it up into two, and the other one was $11, so I'll show you that when I get those. But I'll leave the link down below. It's awesome. All the books here were $1.99. I think we don't need our classmates. It might have been $2.99. But still, really good deals. So I highly recommend. Finally finished for the day. All I have to do is add my name into the books I just got. Um, clean up a mess and I'm good for the day. So, I'm exhausted. Time to go sit down and watch YouTube. So I finally got a bunch of the boxes cleaned out. I only have one left because I bought some more books yesterday that I'm going to have to add in there. 
my mailboxes, and then this is a box of things that are like for older grades or things I want to keep. So I have to unload another box and bring it back home before I can do stuff with that. I didn't have these because my stickers were starting to peel off from the heat. But other than that, we are almost good to go. And I have, not next week, but the week after, I can get in my classroom and start cleaning everything out, hopefully. I want to have these posters up in my classroom for, like, reference. Just, like, how to write in the tin frame. I actually got this off. Let me see if I can go through this with looking for my camera. Off Teacher Pay Teachers. This one... Who did it come from? I'd have done exit out. I don't know who it came from. I'll put it on the screen or put it down low. But I found this one, and I'm not doing a wood barn theme. I thought I was at the beginning, but I'm not. So I, I'm doing like pastels. So I have found this image on Google that kind of looks like like the wood barn, but in pastel. So I just put that on this document, and then I'm literally screenshotting these and putting it on top of them. So that is the project right now. And yeah, and then I'm going to print them out. And I don't have any laminate left. But when I get laminate, I am going to laminate them. So that should be fun. One more project to go. No. One more project down. Almost. Halfway there. So today's project is laminating. So I have my lot, my launch, my scotch laminator set up over here. And I have, is that going to stay? And I just got a pack of the, um, I don't know how to pronounce this brand, Nuova, maybe. This is a 200 pack of the letter size 3 mil um, laminating pouches. And then, so, I have already started laminating when I first got the laminator because it comes with those few pouches. And I went ahead and laminated my um, today's weather is and then the weather things that stick there and also got a few of my um, shape posters done so today's project I can smell that heating up today's project is the rest of my um, shapes why can I not do I keep forgetting that word the rest of my shapes and my colors and this weather graph. I haven't decided if there's something right there on my lip. We're just seeing that. I haven't decided if I'm actually I have decided. I think I'm gonna laminate this and use a um dry erase marker. So it is this, it's a weather graph and it has it has the weather and then it has how many days. And so like if it's sunny one day, you know, if it's sunny that day, we um, mark it in, it kind of gets working on graphs. And I was thinking about just leaving it like this and actually, us actually coloring it. But once it hits 25, do I keep going to 50? Do I do we do something? Do I start over? I don't know. Leave suggestions. I know a preschool teacher that I subbed for. She had this exact, or she had this exact one. On about the weather. So I might ask her about it. But yes, and I just got those laminating pouches in for Walmart. That's why the big box is behind me. So, I think that's all I have to laminate. And I also have to print out those, um, my alphabet. Was it? No, not alphabet. I ha have an alphabet line. I have to still have to print out my numbers on, um, the computer that you probably just saw. And then I'll have to laminate those. So, I'll do that later. Probably won't film that. But, trying to get a little stuff done on days like today when I don't really have much to do. Okay, so I'm sitting here realizing that I never put um, a border, like a background construction paper. How in the world did I miss one? Anyway, but I wanted to show you. I realized I never showed you like these actual um, shape posters. So here they are. So it just says it has the shape, the like it's spelled out, how many sides and how many vertices it has. And I really like these. Because it had 2D shapes, but it also had 3D shapes. And since that's something in kindergarten, excuse me. And um, I know these are kind of small. They're half pages each. But I thought um, 
these will just be in my room when we actually go into the shapes I might get bigger ones or have them posted on the board somewhere but these are just the ones that are gonna be like on the wall somewhere and then I have so I showed you the weather these cute little things that's upside down that will just be um, velcroed onto here or yeah probably velcro not magnets and then here are my colors which haven't been um ow, which haven't been laminated yet I got these it says at the bottom corner proud to be primary I don't remember remember where I got these but I can um, put them down below and the weather they're all off TPT so I got these and what was I gonna say oh for the top like for it to say colors I'm just gonna do something maybe with my Cricut or something where I would just get letters and put on top of it and probably for shapes too and whether it'll be on the front board so I need to go find construction paper to finish that I also know need to go get my um cutter <laughs> yeah it's just called a cutter right you'll see what I'm talking so I got the cutter, I got the um, construction paper. Now, I lost my glue, so I guess I'm just gonna put it like there and hopefully it stays that way. I don't know, so I'm gonna finish laminating this stuff and then I'll be on to cutting this. And thank goodness I have this, because when I first didn't have it, I don't know if you can see how un like not straight it is. Oh gosh, so I know I knew I ordered this when I done the, these. I just am very impatient, so I went ahead and cut them. And I figured well, when I get it laminated, I can straighten them out. So that's what I'm going to do. So I completely forgot to. Blake, Blake, I'm vlogging. So I forgot to start um, vlogging, but I'm starting on my. Um, that's about to fall out. My, um, yeah, we're watching Fast and Furious. My, um, little sets I ordered, they were in the last, last vlog. Sorry, I can't focus because that's on. But that's what I'm doing. I'm currently laminating the ones I've printed out and going to start putting them in here and label them. Yeah. I only have four sets printed out, so that's probably all I'm going to get to today. But... I'll take plenty of time so they whatever of laminating and I'm getting tired of it but I finally printed out my numbers so that's what I'm working on laminating now and I did my learning target um thanks yeah making progress new package alert probably shouldn't show my address it's from Amazon I see that I'm exhausted so if I sound tired that's why Okay, I see it's books. First, I'm gonna read the note. So it says, I hope you have awesome first year teaching, Tish. Love you from Stevie, which Stevie is one of my hometown friends from high school. Is that another note? Awesome. So she actually got me um, Sheila Ray the Brave, which I think will be awesome for a um, Kevin Hinkes. That's how I always said it. How, I don't know how. Other people say anyway um author study because i have a couple other of his books yeah and i actually was with instant teach and no in practicum a first grade teacher I was with done a author study on him and it was like i liked it anyway then i got click clack moo cows that type and it's ready to read but it's the same exact thing when i'm looking through it so yeah that'll be a fun read aloud i'm glad i got this one i used to have this when i was little but i couldn't find it and then I got Love from the Crowns, which is a hardback book. And I've seen this before, and I've seen the bigger ones, but I think they're paperback. And this is a nice um, hardback, which I think sometimes little books are harder to do read alouds, but I think this is, like, a good medium size. Thank you so much, Stevie, if you're watching this. Yeah, on to the next day. The object of the day is getting my voice level... Um, signs are going to go around the lights done, so I'm going to laminate them. And I just have this um, cardstock behind it because the lights aren't that big. So I wanted like the pink to show behind it because the number, like this is no voice, so it would be level zero. The zero is going to be in pink. 
And how I'm gonna do that is uh, use, I'm laminating the cardstock, and I'm just gonna put this in my Cricut so it cuts it out for me in the exact shape. So I wanted to quickly show you all my hall passes that I just made. Um, since I have a um, red strap, and the boards actually has some red on it, I just went with black and white. So, um, I had girls hall pass, boys hall pass. <laughs> Office pass, <laughs> nurse pass. You can't hardly hear me because fast and furious. But, and then on the back it has my name. Oh, I probably shouldn't show my room number, but I'll blur it out. Kindergarten and room number. So, yeah, I made these quickly just on pages. Now I have printed off my champs, um, cards that are going to go beside, like, each letter. So, like, I'm going to Velcro them up and... Put them up like when we're not just, they're not supposed to move and there'll be no movement or they'll raise their hand and ask for permission and so on. And what I think I'm going to do is like, I have still have to cut the edges, but what I'm going to do is like on the back so they don't really get too mixed up is put the letters. So like this will be activity. So I'd put an A right there just so when I have them all together, I won't get too confusing. And then I have my words of affirmation. Um, or my mirror of affirmation. I don't know. But I have these to put in my bathroom around the mirror. Yeah. That's what I'm doing right now. These are such a pain to cut. Oh, my goodness. I probably should have done them in the Cricut. But, oh, well. And I'm currently watching Haley Teach's classroom setup because I'm trying to get some inspiration before I go in and fix my classroom. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm so excited for the next videos that are coming up. Make sure you comment and give me any ideas or suggestions for my classroom because I always need those. And I'm looking for bulletin board um, suggestions. I just realized I'm sweating my makeup off. Anyway, leave me bulletin board suggestions. I already have a word wall and then I just have like a bulletin board that has words on it you'll see in not my next video but the video after maybe my next video my classroom setup video but i need suggestions for i have two small little bulletin boards or it can be one it's confusing just give me some suggestions down below thank you all like subscribe and i'll see you all next week